Welcome once again to The Breakfast here on PLOS TV Africa. Our discussion this morning is about the local government and how important it is. The local government elections held in Ogun and Lagos states on Saturday and were marred by low voter turnout. While we're yet to get official figures, uh, most places our correspondents went to had just a few voters. Jacinta Obiku tells us more. Voting was expected to begin at 8 a.m. and end at 3 p.m. across Lagos State with a curfew already in place. And this was what a Jawe State polling unit was like at Isolo early in the morning. Voting was yet to start even with people already on the queue at polling unit 009. The presiding officer was on a phone call and we tried to find out what the challenge was. The card reader, the password is rejecting the card reader, so which they are coming to rectify right now. But so far so good. The election has been peaceful. Um, people are really behaving. From Ajawa State, we headed to Festag, which was just as peaceful. A did die you at this so ye PDP chairmanship candidate and more or dauphin cast his vote. I'm impressed with this massive turnout. As you can see, people are all over ensuring that they come out to exercise their rights as citizens of Amuo. Let's all come out to exercise our rights. It is our rights. One man, one vote. Our next port of call was Ikeja. The polling unit here had few voters. One of them, one on Adeni Jones Strait, was where the PDP state chairman cast his vote. He's displeased with the low turnout. This is very sad. If you look at it, you can put to the camera right there. I'm the only one that has voted here today, you know, and that shows the level of trust, the level of um, anarchy that is going on inside of the people in a democratic setting when the people don't believe in a process there will be a day that they will they will show their anger somehow he also had this to say to his political counterpart take this opportunity to just plead with we politicians you know on both sides of the divide whether pdp whether apc that the people are the ones that matter, the youths are the ones that matter. It's not us anymore. There were diverse opinions here at Alausa Ward F bullying units. People are not coming out to vote. I don't know the reason why. For this particular ward, it's, the turnout is quite impressive. I, can, I could see many people here in the morning before coming to cast my own votes. We next headed to Lagos Island for more observation. And here at Wahab for Lawi, your junior high school Osborne polling unit, the complaint was about a missing polling unit. We've gone there, sort of two units uh, there, we've met one. Here again, instead of two, we met one. And we are asking why, where is the other one? Because we know that's the... Is, is the way they rig election. The twin is supposed to be on 14 points, but we only saw one, the other side and this one. And we are wondering what is happening, who is in charge. And there's no officer, senior officer from La Seda who can inquire from. And that's the problem. So if this can, can happen here, then what is granted that the election is free and fair? Fifteen political parties are registered for the election according to the Lagos State Independent Electoral Commission. Jacinta Obiuku for PLOS TV Africa. Our guest this morning is uh, Executive Chairman, Committee of uh, Committee for Protection of People's Mandates. Uh, good morning, Mr. Nelson Ekujumi. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Good morning to our viewers. All right. Welcome. All right. The, the conversation, you know, from Saturday's local government polls, you know, first of all, you know, it was described as, uh, uh, you know, very almost abandoned. Uh, seeing the low turnout of voters. The governor of the state, uh, of Lagos State, Babajide Songwolu, uh, made mention of the same thing, you know, and of course uh, stated that it was peaceful, but the voter turnout was very low. Why do you think that this, you know, happened? Yes, thank you very much. Uh, the turnout of voters on Saturday, July 24th, 2021, Lagos State local government election that was marred by voters' party can be attributed to so many factors. 
Look, I look at it from the you know, uh, lack of internal uh, democracy within the political parties. Because you expect that these are political parties that have members. And even if any other person is not coming out to vote, how about the members of this political party? Where are they? It tells you clearly that you know the lack of confidence in the candidates that emerge as it is uh, as I said, you know, small to the there are parties in the state. Also, a lot of these parties, if you ask me, they are more of business parties only when election is knocking at the door. We shouldn't be so. These parties are supposed to be the opposition party. They are supposed to be showing out statements, programs that we endear them to the people. You, the bride does not get to know the groom on the eve of the wedding. They must have courted for quite a long time. A lot of these parties are not courted the Nigerian populace, and that is responsible for people asking, which is this? I don't even know. I don't even know their candidates. So, please to recognize that, and the voting populist is, you know, is non-existent. And also, look at the issue of economy. The economic situation of the country, the political situation of the country, has also contributed to the voter party. You look at the essence of governance, the grassroots level, the government that has been in power in the last few couple of years, how have they delivered on their promises? How have the people felt, you know, the, the governance at that grassroots level? So if those are the aim of affairs, have not shown out policies, programs that will affect the lives of the people, then the people we expire my vote in the last five years. They wrote my street, nothing is happening there. The security in my local locality is nothing to write to me about. I'm the one providing it. I don't feel any essence of the local government except to pay uh, my except for the except for the uh, refuse that comes, you know, uh, to the refuse collectors. That's oh, the only right. essence of governance that I feel. All right, Mr. Kujumi, we're going to get back to the relevance of the local government because uh, it's one thing that I had spoken about before and I, I pointed out that, you know, it's one of the reasons a lot of people didn't show up because they haven't been able to feel the relevance of the, at the local government level in any way. Uh, but before we get there, I want you to speak more about the relationship between the parties Absolutely. and the people, which you also just mentioned. Um, from what you've described, there's no relationship. They only show up a few weeks to the elections, and that's when you even hear that there are candidates coming up for elections. Why do you think that, you know, this has been? Why don't the parties care about the people enough, you know, until it's time for elections? Because the political parties are not run as political parties. Political parties, you have a membership register. A political party should have uh, programs for members that will endear even people who are sitting on the friends. The end of the was is propagating. The party should not just believe that they exist only to come and call your votes or at election time. I'll be very, very scared. Of, I would want a relationship to have existed between us so that at any point in time we can knock on each other's door. The parties themselves, are, the people are not known to the parties, just like the parties are not known to the people. And this has affected the relationship between the parties and the voting public. And that is what we have seen at the local government. There is no relationship. Like I said, no marriage can be consummated for a marriage will be fraught with danger if the even in those days in the in the days of yore when they used to tell us that our parents were giving out a marriage to maybe my mother was giving out a marriage to my father at least before the day will be consummated my parents must have gotten to know the other parents and they would have made both push to know themselves before then. But this idea of political parties believing that they can only approach us for our votes when election is knocking at the door is very, very inimical to the 
we must act on. Everything should not be about money. There are, there are several mediums that you can use to reach the people that... All right. Um, Mr. Kujumi, um, you, you've made really, you know, important points here. Um, and I would always like to remind viewers that um, at every time, you know, in four years, in eight years, there is a local government chairman. There's a person who holds that seat that is responsible for certain details of the lives, in, uh, you know, of the uh, electorate. Uh, but it seems like these people don't exist. Um, and I'm sure that if you ask the next 50 people on the street, who is the current local government chairman in Etiosa or any other local government, I'm sure, you know, a good 30 wouldn't know who he is. Again, so, so this basically paints a picture of the lack of interest uh, with many, many, uh, you know, of the um, uh, thousands, actually, of people who should have come out to vote on the day of the election. Um, one of the persons that I had spoken to had said that it is because of a lack of trust in the electoral process, and that's why people uh, stayed away from uh, voting. Do you agree that that's the, the challenge here, that the electorate and Lagosians and people in Ogun State also don't trust the process, and so they didn't bother showing up to vote? Well, it is, uh, it is not impossible for people not to trust the process. Don't forget, even in the Bible, we had a doubting Thomas. And there are so many Thomases in the world. A lot of persons tend to distrust even what they have not tested before. And when you ask, they cannot give you a cogent or logical reason for not trusting. What you have not tried, I see no reason why you should distrust it. It's like they say, the taste of the pudding is in the eating. But most importantly, the political parties are the ones that are supposed to generate interest that will develop into trust. The political parties are not communicating enough with the people. By the time they up the ante, even if we have doubting Thomases, they will be very, very negligible. But like we always say in the democracy, when the majority we have the majority we have this person say they don't believe is their right. We cannot. We, we, there's nothing we can do to them. They are to engage with them, make them see to give me the benefit of doubt, because. Do not Even relationships we go into is based on trust. I'm talking to you this morning because because your reporter spoke to me yesterday night and I had the trust that we were going to have a And that was why I got up early I to be to, to be on this program. If I didn't have the trust, I would have just said when you really call me, was the program old? But because I had that faith, and it is because of the relationship that we have had over the years. So there is this need for us to invest more in our political party in that way. All right. Okay, Mr. Ikujumi, I, I now I want us to focus on the failure of a government, uh, at, at the local government level of governance. Um, you know, some of the responsibilities, you know, that I expected, I'll quickly share before we, before we get to ask why the local government level seems to be failing. Um, control and provision of markets and motor parks, collection and disposition of refuse, making recommendations, provision and control of cemeteries and slaughterhouses, regulation and issuing of birth and death uh, marriage certificates also. Uh, they also issue various type of licenses, naming of streets, collection of rates and taxes, Building and maintaining of schools and colleges, um, awarding bursaries and and, uh, and uh, scholarships also. Control of public housing, town and housing planning, uh, provision of public libraries, provision of pipe bond water and other public institutions. There are numerous responsibilities that the local government should have. Uh, Mr. Ikujumi, does your local government do any of these things or more? Well, from from my own of the mission of my local government. My local government has involved itself in the construction and reconstruction of roads. My local government has involved itself in the provision of markets. 
My local government only recently, when the refuse collector arbitrarily increased the monthly fee we pay, my local government administration intervened and reduced the price through its intervention. This is what has happened in my local government. In some other local governments, people, the local governments are doing one thing or the other. But the problem we have is that people are not asking questions. We, are, we must not also forget that a lot of local government functions and responsibilities have been subsumed by state interference. You know, in the past, local government could collect radio licenses fees. But now, all those have been subsumed under the amalgamated land use charge. So a lot of the functions of local government is not clear to people. And that is why I say the government and the both parties need to have a robust engagement with the people so that if you cannot do it, you can explain to them you that how do the government hold is engagement with people at the locality to carry them along. So these are many things are missing in the local government administration. And that is why people must fit. We as the people with you know mobilize that look this is democracy. Democracy is about the people. And if people are the focus if you and any administrator at whatever level, be it at the local government, be it at the state, be it at the federal level, to regularly interface. A lot of times, if you actually, if you ask people, like I've already said, we don't know our tax law. A lot of times, if you have a chairman, the same in a local government that you know that the division uh, the, uh, office is homicide. A lot of people don't know the 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 the, the, the police station in their locality. Why in the election registration? And you tell them, and somebody asks you, they say they are registering for uh, voter registration. And I want to, go, and you tell them, go to the local government office. Some persons will be asking you, the local government location, and you'll be wondering, that, ah, is this even in this locality at all? That you don't know the local government. So the people themselves, in as much as government is a responsibility to generate the interest, they themselves must be willing to take to go to the mountain. The mountain will not come to Mohammed. The, the moment you go to the mountain. So it is important for us to organize that governance begins at the first level. And that is why the latest political uh in this process, let us want to go and system, please. We have set the look. The issue of financial autonomy for local governments is a big factor has prevented them from carrying out their community. It's a monumental challenge. And that is why the clamor of financial autonomy for local governments are the in a public business that won the Supreme Court to give a ruling not too long ago, very recently, yes. that no governor has the power of the constitution to a elected local government. And the question about collapse of local government session, what has generated interest? So they speak of insecurity. You know that insecurity starts at the local level because there's no part of the where security is ravaging that is the local government. So the lack of government disconnects between people and government. It's first mostly at the local government. And that is what you have seen in the voter party at the who got the election elders to go? So if the interest is there, people will come out to vote. 
people will come out to the of their affairs. Some of the problems we are ground with to engage will be getting to them, and the society will be the better for it. So it is imperative that we must come to have autonomy for local government. That is got parts of the running of government because it is effective, just like the local government chairman, councillors are elected. They all their man people. Local government does not owe it to the governor. Because the people that are elected in. And that is what the Constitution of Nigeria says. Violation of the Nigerian Constitution by state governors or state governments interfering in the administration of local government should be should be should be challenged in the courts of law. It is condemnable. All right. Nelson Ekujumi, uh, thank you very much. We apologize for the um, network challenges that we had, but um, I thank you for adding your voice to this conversation. And of course, it's a conversation that must continue until we're able to revive the relevance of the local governments here in Nigeria. Good morning once again, and thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for being All right. And that's where we wrap up uh, the breakfast this morning. Um, the, the, the conversation, I believe, will continue. And, of course, uh, we will continue to bring these types, you know, of issues up here on The Breakfast to enable people to learn a little bit more about the local government level of governance. And if you, once again, you know, want to quick, do a quick challenge, ask the next 20 random people you meet who their local government chairman is uh, and see how many people actually know who that person is or what his name is or even where their local government office is. Thanks for staying with us. If you missed out on any of the conversations, remember to catch up on our social media platforms. It's at Plus TV Africa on Facebook and Instagram. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Osao Gye Ogbonwa. See you tomorrow.